Hi guys, Sean Barton here from Tortoise IT and I'm going to tell you why you need the CPT layout injector in your life. Now a custom post type is used so much in WordPress you wouldn't really believe it. Um, post types are things like posts, pages, projects, WooCommerce products, testimonials, sliders, galleries, all sorts of things, events, every single system that you can think of in theory may or pro probably will use a custom post type. WordPress encourages the developers to use them because they are so versatile. Um, a custom post type in to you might be that when you look at the back end of WordPress it's different um, items showing on the left hand side here. Uh, it could be people, testimonials, sliders, etc. Um, but uh, for the purpose of this example I'm going to be using posts and projects. Okay. So let's have a look at what you get with Divi out of the box. So we're going to get our project archive page. This is a list of projects. There you go. So we have this full size image, title below, bit of metadata and some information. And then we have our line down the side here and we have a sidebar. Same thing in the blog. There we go. We have the image. We can link through to it, which if you're writing a lot of blog posts actually isn't ideal. In fact, I, I think most people would want their nice grid format that you can have a look at, uh, or in fact, any different layout that you want. And that's the joy of the CPT layout injector. You can create create any layout you want, okay? Um, and it gets rid. It, it basically um, overrides the default Divi layout or the default Word uh, yeah Divi layout for every single post. Uh, in the system. You don't have to use a Divi Builder anymore to write blog posts. You don't have to use a Divi Builder anymore to write project town. It's absolutely unnecessary. Write them using Gutenberg or write them using the classic editor. Entirely up to you which one you use. It works with both. Uh, you write away, you publish as normal, and then the second they press publish and view it on the front end, you're going to see it in the styled way that you, the designer, um, have set out for them. So if I click in this Sean test um, blog post here, you'll see what we get out of the box with Divi. We get our title, some meta, the featured image, some text, uh, from text, the comments, our line down the side, and the sidebar. There are ways of getting rid of things like the sidebar with code, um, but it's much, much easier to do it using this plugin. Um, so this is a blog post. Projects are exactly the same. So if I go into my um, settings page for CPT Layout Injector, down here, and each one of these white boxes here represents a post type. You'll notice that Pages doesn't have this is, is smaller than the rest of them. And that's because Pages doesn't have a Pages archive, i.e., you don't have a page you can go to that shows you a list of all the other pages. Or you can go to a page where you see all of the projects. And in fact, if it has got an archive, it will show you the URL at the bottom here with this handy button here to press it. But for the sake of the example, I'm going to turn on some layouts I've made earlier. This is supposed to be the short version of the introduction of the, of the um, plugin. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to show you how to make them just yet. That's another video. So posts, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to use my blog post layout. And for the post archive, I think I created a blog archive. And for projects, I'll use the blog post layout again. And the project archive, I will use project archive. There you go, nice and easy. And save. Picture of me is in the way. There we go. Okay, so that's it. That's all we have to do. I've created the layout separately one time. That's the key. One time ever. And you create a template, and the system just uses it from now on. So if I go to the front end of my site again now, and it's the projects before, if you remember, had the list of projects with the line down the side and the sidebar. Okay, so what have we got now? There we go. This is just a test I made earlier, so it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it just goes to show you can use any layout you want. Now what this is, is a grid layout with two columns. Now you might be thinking, hang on, that's four columns. No, no, it's really not. You have your title in one column in a sub layout. We have a featured image, an excerpt, and we have a read more. That's one column showing one blog post. And then we have a second one and a third one. There are only three projects in the system, and so you're only going to see three here. But this will keep going as far as ten. In order to change the number of posts shown, you go to the setti uh, settings and reading in the back end. And you should change it to four, six, whatever you want. You can change the number of columns. We can change the layout to 
a list or a full screen view. Um, and this sub layout, because this is using what's called the loop archive module, um, we could change the sub layout to use 50-50, uh, tell it to use one full column. We could just make it an image with a link if we wanted to. It could be anything you want. So when I click into a blog post, this one uses Gutenberg, and you'll see what we have is a single, uh, we have a one-third, two-third column arrangement. This would be better seen later on with the um, actual text, whereas this uses Gutenberg columns. Um, we have our project, uh, a project title and a featured image in the first third column. And then in our two-third column, I've got the actual content of the post, or the project in this case. So if I go to project number one, that should become clearer because actually I've, I've not used any columns here, just text. That's my project layout. If I go to my blog posts, there we go. I created a blog layout before where I had um, I had a big title. There you go, whatever you want. Isn't it lovely? Uh, with a sidebar on the left-hand side, and I've got a different sort of layout. Now these are posts. This will go as far as ten. It will show me the older entries option. Um, this plugin is fully compatible with the WP Page Navi plugin, uh, and it's free, um, which will turn this into um, actual page numbers. So, um, yeah, well worth adding. And the second you activate that plugin, this changes automatically into page numbers. It works really, really well with all of my injector plugins. So this is just our same um, sort of 50-50 or uh, type type layout that I created before. No, it's not, I think. Um, there you go. It, it is a different archive module and it's in list view rather than grid view. So I just thought I'd show you that in the way uh, in a different form. But that is an awful lot prettier than what you get um, with Divi out of the box. And I did that in five minutes. Um, it's a really, really easy plugin to get to know how to use. It's Visual Builder compatible um, and really are the possibilities are limitless. It's available on Elegant Marketplace only. Um, and if you want to ask any questions, then please ask in the Elegant Marketplace Facebook group or my Facebook group, the Tortoise IT group. Okay? And uh, thank you very much, and uh, I look forward to any questions you might have. Please, feedback is welcome. I'd love to make this plugin better for everybody. Thank you.